I've kind of gotten tired of all the winter and the cold. So I decided to go somewhere where it's a little bit warmer, where the sun shines. But of course, going there takes a lot of time. The flight exhausted me. So after having been trapped in a plane, I think I need a little bit of fresh air. And I think I have the right recipe for it. Finally, I got my hands on the steering wheel of the new SLK. And since Sindelfing, I've been really, really wanting to drive this car. To find out, is it really as good as it looks? Until now? Yeah, I definitely think it is. And listen to the sound of the engine here. something special about this car because uh, I, I can't say that I feel that I'm driving in an SLK I think the new SLK is less SLK but more baby SL and that's what it feels like yeah it's time to test a magic sky roof because the Sun is burning me up and I'm gonna look like a red lobster time to test a magic sky and put the roof up Let's just let some sun in. Here we go. It works perfectly. Ah, you know what? I'm already red-faced. Let's turn it off. Of course, the essence is roof off. Now, I would love to try driving it in a couple of different climatic zones. So what I'm gonna do now is take it away from the coastal zone up to the mountains and experience how the temperature changes and how adequate, if at all, this car is with a top-down and colder weather. I'm driving up to the peak of Mount Tata, which is at around 4,000 meters. And of course, the temperature drops down to 12 degrees, yet I'm still in short sleeves, and I'm not cold, thanks to the air scarf and other protective systems. And of course, the heating is very good. So, SLK, year-round car. It's about four degrees, but hey, that's a volcano. And we're gonna go up to the top with the SLK. We have just reached the sky, up in the sky with the SLK. Driving through this, Martian or lunar landscape, it feels like this silver SLK is like a spaceship flying right through this incredible landscape here. I really wanted to test the acceleration of the SLK 350, but because of all the curvy roads, never was I able to do it. But now I have the most perfect road. I'm driving right through a crater, I'm at 2,000 meters, as long, long straight, and it started snowing. So let's see what this thing can do. Well, that's already a good start. We're over 100 kmh. And it keeps accelerating. It's very good. The story ends where it started. In Sindelfing, I saw this SLK Edition 1 showcase, and I immediately loved it. And, of course, I really badly wanted to drive it. Now, that has happened, and I could be more satisfied, because I had a great time, especially on the windy roads of Tenerife, driving through a crater. Great stuff. So, what's up next? Well, when the SLK in an A&G trims comes out, that's going to be a treat. Until then, I have to work a little bit harder at getting my yayas with slightly smaller treats. Well, it will work out.